Hey, so today I'm wax carving a ring for Autumn. Autumn reached out to us and she asked for a ring that symbolised Autumn. I found these fantastic beryllium treated red sapphires, brown diamonds, orange and yellow sapphires and pink tourmalines. I start off by measuring the width of my stone layout and then transposing this onto my now very short wax tube. I cut off the piece that I need, cutting on the waist side of the line and this is what I'm left with. I bladed out the finger size but I didn't show you that. And then I cut off excess wax, so I'm left with a rough band. This is Charlie, by the way, guys. I've adopted a new dog, and he is a puppy. I love his waggy tail. I think he is such a wonderful pup. He's been helping me in my workshop, so I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> then I go ahead and I seat my stones, and what this does, is this enables me to have a really cool stone layout, which will dictate the shape of the ring later. Then, of course, I need to give Charlie more pats on the head because he's been sitting there very patiently waiting for me to leave the workshop so that we can spend time together. You're going to be seeing way more videos of him, by the way. I just love him so much. Once I've seated my stones, I go ahead and I carve the ring up. I do this using a massive bud burr. What this does, this just gives me a rough shape that then I can file over and carve. Overall, I'm really excited about this stone out because I think I've nailed my idea of autumn. This is what the wax looks like. Um, I really love this shape as well. I think it's really cool. And then I've just laid the first few stones in the top because the other ones would fall out if I laid them all the way around. I just think the red beryllium treated sapphires are alluring and a very true red. We have such an array of oranges and I think the pink tourmaline add a sense of relief from the earthy color palette. So will be cast in 18 karat yellow gold. Thank you so much for watching.